In this video, we're going to show you how to get arguably one of the best weapons in the game of Horizon Forbidden West, the legendary Wings of the Ten Blast Sling. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to crush Horizon Forbidden West. I really love this weapon. It's the only adhesive weapon among the legendary weapons and it does a ton of damage and it is very easy to use. It's actually a lot easier to use than the spike throwers which are beloved by everyone in terms of how much damage they do on big machines. But there is a bug associated with this that it and I'm not sure that it's a bug, but it's definitely a very janky way that it's awarded. Now, to get it, you must get the 12 black boxes. And we'll give you the locations of the black boxes at the end of this video. See the timestamps in the description for the particular black box you're trying to find. We have all 12 of them. But it's, when, it's after you've actually gotten this all 12 black boxes that people get into trouble. So the first thing you want to do when you get the 12th black box, before you talk to Utala at the Memorial Grove, right? She's the quest giver. She's the one that gives the rewards for the black boxes. You want to do a save right before that. And so if anything goes wrong when you're talking to Utala, if the bug applies to you, you can go back to that save. You may want to do a manual save. You may want to do a quick save, but you want to have that save. So you want to go to the nearest campfire to the Memorial Grove before you talk to Utala. Then the janky thing is that you need to trade in every black box for a machine part. And Utala has 12 machine bar parts and 12 black boxes that you can trade for them. So buy every one of her machine parts and then exit the menu. And I think what gets people is that she does not award you the Wings of the Ten Legendary Blast Sling unless you come back to her. So back out, at, see your all those machine parts you've been awarded for all the black boxes you turn into her at the end, after you turned in all 12 black boxes, turn around and then go start another conversation with her. And it's in that other conversation that your, your XP, your skill points, and the blast slang will show up in your will pop and show up in your inventory. So this Blastling is really awesome because the adhesive uh, has a status effect, but it also does a ton of damage, but it also has a very good explosive bomb too, which does a ton of damage. And because it shows you the flight of the, the, the bomb, it's actually easier to shoot it at machines than it is to shoot the javelin, the, the spike thrower, because you never know where the spike thrower is going to actually end up. But with the blast sling, you know exactly where it's going to hit. Unfortunately, this is not one of the first weapons you can get. You can get the weapons in the arena earlier than this. You can get the elemental hunter's bow earlier than this in terms of the legendary versions and you can also get the trip caster earlier than this you have to have started the pharaoh's tomb quest which gives you access to the isle of spires otherwise you can't get to the isle of spires and really you probably should not be seriously looking at the black boxes until you have completed both the poseidon and demeter quests so you need the vine cutter and you also probably will need the breathing apparatus for at least one of these black boxes but boy the vine cutter is essential for many of them so don't focus on the black boxes too early you establish the base focus on getting those weapons in the arena focus on the hunting grounds if you want to get the trip caster you're not going to get this weapon until after you reach the isle of spires now you can just start uh the pharaoh's tomb quest reach the isle of stop spires and abandon this that quest essentially or just stop ignore it and go get the black box which is really easy to get there and then turn it into utala so that you have use of the black blast sling for the end game because it is an op 
awesome weapon that you're going to want to use in the final main quests of Horizon Forbidden West. So next up, we're going to look at the locations of all these different black boxes that you need to turn in to get the legendary blast sling, the Wings of the Ten. Okay, the first one is uh, called the No Man's Land, and you get it after the embassy there. It's kind of towards the south. The second one is called White Watch Peaks, which is just east of the base. The number three one we're going to look at is in the water called Jagged Deep. So it would help to have the breathing apparatus for this one. Otherwise, there's a risk of drowning. And then... The fourth one is called the Promontory. It's kind of somewhat north. And the fifth one is called the Bleeding Mark up in the mountains to the north. The sixth one is the Still Sands near Las Vegas. You'll see that when you do... Uh, talk to the salvage contractors. And most of these are going to require the vine cutter. The Memorial Grove is the seventh one. It's right across the bridge from the Memorial Grove. And then the Salt Bite near the Big Lake is number eight. All these are relatively easy to get as long as you have all the tools you need. Uh, the ninth is the rain trace, right? So the three tools are the igniter, the breathing apparatus, and the the tenth is the bone white tear uh, that's up in the north towards the west coast, the northwest up in the mountains. And then you'll also need the vine cutter. And two of those, you're going to need to get subordinate functions. Uh, the 11th is the stand of the sentinels north of the big trees in the mountains. Uh, it's very close to the coast. The west coast and the ocean. Uh, and then the, the 12th is the Isle of Spires, i.e. San Francisco. That's the one you need to start the Pharaoh's Tomb quest to get to, otherwise you can't get to Isle of Spires. Very easy to find. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel, we give you the secrets to crush Horizon Forbidden West.